Hello, I'm Nick Ippolito, and this is going to be a guide on exploiting the ad server in the Sands Holiday Hack Challenge 2016. We already know the ad server is hosted at ads.northpolewonderland.com because we analyzed the APK file. When browsing there, we get this website, look in the source code. We do see it is coded in the Media JavaScript framework. Media is a little bit different than most websites because it depends purely on WebSockets and DDP, the Distributed Data Protocol and not HTTP gets and posts that you may be used to. So to demonstrate this fact, we're going to be turning, uh, we can just look at our HTTP history and click around this website and notice we don't see a lot of gets and we try to log in and we probably won't see a post. And that's all being done in WebSockets. So when I click something, we do see the WebSockets go, click out, going and coming. So. One of the big benefits to this is it creates real-time web applications. So bring over a window from my host OS, I can click the little smiley, and right away in my VM, we see an immediate reaction. So just some cool things about media. We don't need to do any of that for this actual challenge because it's already been done for us. There's a Tampa Monkey script written by Tim Medine which will help us mine data out of media. And you can read the whole blog post if you want some more information, but we're just going to be installing that and running it, essentially. The first thing you need to do is get Tampa Monkey, and because that's what the script runs on. Unfortunately, the Firefox version that's included with Kali is not compatible with it. We're on the extended service release, which runs, I think, Firefox 45? All right, it says 45 right there, but yes. 45, so we're going to get a later version of Firefox. I just went to getfirefox.com and downloaded a copy of Firefox. We're going to extract it. I'm not downloading it again just because it took a little while to actually download. So right click, extract here, open up Firefox, open up this, and we're going to close out Firefox so you can't run two simultaneously. And then we're going to go to Firefox-bin, and then just open it. And we should have a new version of Firefox up and running. Going over to Help, About Firefox, shows we're at 50. So now we can install Tampa Monkey, and then we'll install the Tampa Monkey script that Tim Medine wrote, and see what happens when we browse to the ad server. Add this, install, and it says it's been successfully installed. So now I'm going to Google Mining Media GitHub, maybe, and that may pull us to the page. No, it does not. So I'll just Mining Media Sans. Go to the Sans posting and scroll down to where it mentions GitHub. That's not it. Post it as GitHub page. Click on MediaMiner.js. Click on Raw. Copy everything. Create new script. Select all. Paste. And I'm going to put this URL as the update URL. And then I'm going to click Save. And we now have MediaMiner saved here and it looks like I already had one copy running so we'll go ahead and, and turn that one off. That's odd. But now when going to ads.northpolewonderland.com we have Media Miner pop up and it tells us things like the routes, tells us about home quotes, we have four columns of records in home quotes, have different URLs, slash admin slash quotes, that looks relatively interesting. So that's going to be the URL I go to. I guess I can't expand that window. Slash admin slash quotes. And we'd see you must be logged in. However, the home records updated to five when on the previous page, it was only four. So something else is in there and we have to figure out how to view data in this because we can't just click on it and see the actual data. We have four records and one record looks like it's hidden. So what we're going to do 
is open up Firefox's uh, developer tools by pushing F12, clicking on console, and we want to look at home quotes. So I believe we can just do home quotes dot find dot fetch and we will get the results of that. Clicking on the last one, just add it, we do see the audio. So we can now highlight this, go to ads, and paste. And that's the challenge. So really simple because this script did everything for us. If we didn't want to use this script, we would have to do uh, router dot routes dot length, I think. And we can see there's 11 different routes we can take. So let's count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we could do router dot routes, let's see, 10. This is the last item in it because this starts at 0. The router.routes.length starts at 1. So we're looking at the last route. And is there a git name? There is a git name. This. And we see admin quotes. So that's how it knew where to go on the URL. And then to do the other stuff, it would be like media dot. Let's see. Let's pull this posting up again. Media minor sans to see exactly what his script is doing. And we probably could just look in the Tampa Monkey script, but we can copy from media collection, Mongo live data collections, paste this, see what this returns. Some objects, clicking more. We have, it looks like the collections right here and some other stuff. And he just did my collection dot find dot fetch. So I wonder if we did meteor dot home. No, meteor dot. I'm going to end this video actually because I don't know exactly what I'm doing and I enjoyed how the beginning of the video went. So hope you guys enjoyed this. You should poke around more at exactly what this Tampa Monkey script did if you want to fully understand it. And that'll be it. Take care. Bye.